It's so great to really see that we have so many agendas and we have been trained to have so many agendas. So just your own ability to see yourself so honestly and nakedly and just, you know, clearly just seeing all of this is a great result of the short moments. Because through the short moments where you just make that decision to let everything be as it is, so simple and so powerful, that's your direct access to totally see reality as it is through your own experience. So I have had many, many moments of seeing many agendas and, you know, in the end, it's just funny. I mean, what is all this about and for what? And, and when you really look at that and reflect on that, I mean, last summer we heard from Candice, just come here and wanting nothing. That question or that sentence has just kind of never left my mind. And whenever that pops up in the middle of, of any situation, I just, you know, it's blown open. All this, I need to do this, that and the other to be liked, to be special or not special or to hide or to speak up or, you know, this all, all variations of that. So that is why the single instruction of the short moments, where you just rely on yourself as open intelligence, as that stable ground, that is the whole experiment going on. And where is it going on? Only in our own experience. So whenever we have doubts about anything, just check, be practical, see. What is your own very practical, very direct result of just testing if it is safe to let everything be as it is? Am I safe and stable within all experiences? Just to, to test it, to see. And it's such a just very practical tool to, to just list those practical results. I've done that many times, or, or read your own value letters. <coughs> to read your own value letters where you clearly see the result of this training just blows open any ideas we have about the world or anything about anything. So it's really clear in my experience that to be able to speak up for something that's bigger than my data, <laughs> that's just like, you know, I'm afraid now or I'm, you know, this, that and the other, only comes from really seeing myself fully and see that I, there isn't anywhere to hide and there isn't any datum that ever, ever was a problem. Because we will always have data running, but that, that's not a problem. I mean, it's so simple. Why, why was all this data a problem? <laughs> I mean, it's so clearly seen that when we start to descri describe all this data, that's just where we get into so many problems. <laughs> Instead of just letting them be as they are and just go on with our life, if we just jump in and we just categorize, we describe, we focus on the problems, we don't want to have this data. And it's so powerful to really, to see that as it was asked, as soon as any datum is forming, any thought is coming right now to make a decision there and then to test is it fine to just let it just do its thing without going in there to micromanage anything? And it really takes some getting used to. 
it really takes some getting used to. It's so tempting to do something about data, isn't it? <laughs> so tempting. We have our favorites. <laughs> and I can see you're, you're thinking about your favorite strategy right now. <laughs> I'm at least, I'm doing that. And that's when you, we know each other, right? It's so clear. We can see us uh, pulling this, that, and the other. And, and it's only really when we test that we are safe, for instance, speaking up when we feel so maybe nervous or afraid or you know, when we feel we want to just jump into an intimate relationship and we don't do it, that's when we see, see our power. <laughs> really. Because if we go on about life in the same social experiment as we have done with acting, reacting, then and then with all this data that's running the show all the time and just focusing on the data and never give the data to any chance to settle, you know, we, we know what happens. So in the short moments, that is really where we test. And we, and we see with the support of the mainstays that it is safe to do that test. What happens if I am not acting on this sexual desire right now? What happens if I just, just let me, myself fully experience anything around this sexual desire or this daydream about that special, 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 special one? There's never been someone so special as this one, this time. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I'm, so many times I had the same thought. But who was the special one then? <laughs> it's always changing. <laughs> so ridiculous. Always changing because that, that's the nature of any datum. Always changing, changing, changing. <laughs> and it's very exhausting to keep on just following this show. But I've seen that and I know all of you know that, when you let all of this settle, like the muddy pond, you try to look something, you know, and it's just getting more and more muddy. But when you just don't go in there and stir, you don't do anything, it, it just becomes clear. So you're totally capable to make decision around should I go into an intimate relationship or not. So I'm not saying that we somehow no, don't make decisions anymore. But we are really able then to make clear decisions for how would we really like to show up in the world. So this thing about feeling arrogance while uh, doing service or arrogance at all, great to see it. It's so powerful, being irritated. It's not about not feeling all of that. But what takes more and more over is your desire to be of benefit. So while being irritated and while being so arrogant and having all those thoughts, you can never, you will always have those thoughts in one way or the other, if you notice that or not, you know, but it's there. It's the display of who we are as a human being, all this data. But what takes over is that massive vibe of great benefit where we just want to serve the other person in that moment, even if you think you can do that task better. So how would you like to show up in that moment when you have those thoughts? Maybe you have some solutions on how you can give some ideas or how, you know, all of this is just available then. When you take a short moment and you just are in this massive vibe, this massive flow of benefit, where you don't care about micromanaging your own thoughts and emotions anymore. It's boring, exhausting, outdated, finished, don't want to do it anymore. And that is a very crucial point here. It doesn't mean that you don't have data. It doesn't mean that you, you, you don't have thoughts and emotions anymore. Because if you are like how I was when I came to the center for the first time, I had a big backpack of many, many thoughts and emotions. I was so ready to get rid of. I was so ready and I was so willing <laughs> to get rid of all of this. And little did I know at that time that 
the gold was in my backpack. The secret treasure was just in my backpack. The power to be completely stable and live a complete satisfying life were in that backpack. That's just revolutionary in my own life and then, you know, in everyone's life. So it's just so obvious that when we decide to live a lifestyle, a love style, surrounded with people that don't discuss data, that don't throw data on each other, you don't want to do it either. You just immediately feel that relief of not doing that anymore. So it's so obvious to do this together. Or if you're alone somewhere, or together with people, just plug in and listen to a talk. And there, you have taken a short moment immediately. If you don't know what a short moment is for you right now, that is so normal, just plug into a talk. And that's a short moment. Yeah, so, so it's just uh, so obvious that we could never do this uh, alone. We need role models and we need examples.